this is Daryl Soul greeting you in the glorious name of Jesus Christ our Saviour. I come to you on behalf of the Baptist Church of Rosettenville and I greet you today on this the 10th of January 2021 and so it is good to be together today. Today we're looking at the whole topic of prayer as we begin our week of prayer in the church and we're looking at the topic of prayer as a lifestyle and so let's begin by reading God's Word. As we look in Psalm 32, we read in Psalm 32, Then I acknowledged my sin to you, and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore let everyone who is godly pray to you, while you may be found. Surely when the mighty waters rise, they will not reach him. You are my hiding place, and you will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we do need to come and pray and learn to pray. Like your disciples, we ask you, Lord, teach us to pray. As we go into this new year, we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, it's good to be with you. As I said, I'm Daryl Soul, and I'm coming to you today as we worship God together. This is a playlist designed to not only give you some information about the church and give you announcements and some prayers, but also uh, prepare for the message. This morning's message is brought to you by our missionary Mike van Feeren, working with Operation Mobilization in England, uh, based at the headquarters in London. And so he will be sharing something on prayer as we begin this week together. But it's great to be together. Uh, if you'd like to get hold of me, uh, please email me at pastordrbc80 at gmail.com. But if you like this message, uh, press like, share it with others, pass it around. If it's been a help to you, don't just hold on to it, uh, but apply it and then share it with others. Then some announcements, of course, today begins our week of prayer. Tomorrow night, Monday night at 7 o'clock here at the Baptist Church of Rosettenville. Join us if you're able for prayer or wherever you are, pray and meet with the Lord between 7 and 8 this week and ask the Lord to move in your life, move in the church, move in our community, move in our country, all that to the glory of God. And so ask Him to meet with us. Then I want to remind you, uh, to keep using your gifts for the Lord. One of the things that's happened during this lockdown is that we've sometimes neglected our spiritual gifts. But what has God gifted you to do? And what has he put on your heart to do in 2021? Uh, don't neglect that. Do perhaps start up where you left off or go start a new ministry in this coming year. But ask the Lord Jesus what he wants you to do. If you're a hand in the body, get involved, get serving. Uh, if you're an eye, look what he wants you to do. If you're an ear, listen for what he is saying and pass it on to the body. And so be God's members of his body in this church as, he, as you glorify God. Well, then as well, I want to remind you to keep giving to God. Remember the widow's might was just two little coins that Jesus saw. And God sees what you give to him. And I want to encourage you to give faithfully to the Lord. Play your part in these days. And so let's pray together. Father, help us to not only give, help us to be faithful in our lives and help us each one to serve you in this year ahead. And now to learn about prayer, not only as we sing your praises, but as we listen to your servant. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs> 